Hi, today let's have a look at the Forever block. If you're not sure of some of the blocks within Scratch, you can always jump into the tip section and um, click onto the different blocks here to learn more about all the different um, blocks that you have. Now, for the Forever block is in the control um, section. So let's just open that up and click onto the Forever block. So the Forever block is uh, what it does, it runs whatever block, whatever instructions, whatever triggers that you place inside the Forever block, it repeats that task over and over again. So you don't manually have to click onto something for that um, action to be repeated. So the example that they give here is that we've used a move 10 steps, wait half a second, and then repeat that action over and over again. So let's just have a look at how we can apply the forever block. For my scratch project that I want to use, I've sort of gone into my sprite library and I've grabbed the J letter. I may actually want to change the color of my uh, sprite. So I've gone into my looks tab and I might play around with this block today, which is the change color effect. If I just click onto this block, just to show you how it works, you can see that the color changes each time I click onto this block. So for the color to change, I have to manually click onto this. So this is where I could then use the forever block and help to repeat this task of changing the color over and over again without me having to manually click onto this color block. So I've placed my change color block inside my forever block. Whilst I'm in the control tab, I might even grab the wait one second and place it underneath the change color block. And then let's just click onto this to test it. And you can see that the color of my J is changing forever over and over again without me having to click onto my change color block all the time. And that's how you can apply a forever block in a particular project that you may be working on.